and today we'll be responding against the growing chick. Ashara Karate, a modern style of karate. And I'm Hendra, I practice Shitori Karate, a traditional form of karate. Welcome to this series called Practical Karate, and in this series, we're going to be exploring the approaches between modern karate and traditional karate when it comes to commonly seen techniques in karate, martial arts, and self defense. The groin kick, or in Japanese, what do we call it? Kin Giri. Kin Giri, or Kin Teki Giri, sometimes, as we call it in Ashara Karate. Okay, this is a big one. So, Henry, in what circumstances will you need to respond against the group? I guess it's a grand is the dirty technique, right? It's in the low ball trunk, and I would expect maybe in a brawl in the park, people to throw you a grand kick. Yeah, it's interesting that you mentioned it's a dirty technique because uh, socially, when we get into altercations with other people, you know. Uh, we are conditioned to restrict ourselves at the most, you know, to push somebody away, to mm -hmm. tell them to back off, or to throw insults, right? But when it comes to a situation where that person decides to throw a drawing kick at you, you probably have done something that the other person thinks, you know, you deserve it. It can be in a situation where you are really generally in a fight that um, he wants to take you off, or it can be a situation where you really have offended the other person and the only way the other person thinks out of his or her flight or fight response is to throw you a drawing kick. Is that fair to say? Yeah. And of course, in karate context, uh, do you encounter drawing kicks? Accidental drawing kicks. Are you in a sparring and this person kick and you're in the wrong distance? It's sometimes. Yeah, so accidental drawing kicks, uh, especially when the adrenaline is high. Yeah. Uh, when people are really tired, their top techniques go all over the place, mm -hmm. the brain kicks will start to come in. So if you happen to see it, even in your peripheral, I think uh, it's important to be able to respond against it. And finally, I would say that the groin kick in itself, even without learning karate, um, people know by nature that there is a high chance that it's effective because anything that goes to the groin has a perception that it's potentially paralyzing. Mm -hmm. So again, if people go for a coin kick at you, uh, that person probably thinks you deserve it. I agree. I don't know, maybe. Uh, tell us what you think in the comment box down below. In martial arts, we are expected to behave with integrity and gentlemen, so we don't do low kicks like intentionally aiming at the groin. Against a, a groin kick, which it's so close that it's too late for you to react. From here, in the fight house, you go this. So tighten it, tighten it, and kick it. Okay, so it's tough. Get the one, kill. I'm gonna kick down, and then we're gonna kick down, and finish off. This move is also in the series of the kata, where you do this and then you come down and you do this one. Sometimes in a, in a fight, you have time to respond whether it's outside or inside. You just bring up your faster leg. So if it's left, let's say this leg is good. If it's left, say it's the other leg, the back leg, or just have to respond accordingly. Because the first way is already off. Right? So in the kata, it goes this way, and then all punch immediately. The situation where you can't run away from the front kick is where you end up in a graphic situation as the guy is trying to uh, knee your balls off your body. And you might see it coming from a path where if the blanket comes, you just move away from it. So again, this has been a video to respond against the drawing kick. Sorry if it's not too exciting because the techniques are a lot more underwhelming than a lot of us might think. 
but simplicity has its merits, I guess. Uh, in any case, if you like this video, click on the like button. If you don't like, comment. If you find this video useful and you like to share it to the whole wide world, please share this video around. And if you want to see more content from us, click on the follow button. This has been a video for the Lionheart Academy channel. I hope with this you can enjoy karate more and see you on the next one. Okay, okay let's discuss the difference in approaches uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to dealing with the conflict between modern karate and traditional karate, right? And honestly, I would say, again, once more, there is a lot more similarities than differences. Yeah. Differences, uh, as I observed, tends to be in terms of forms, like uh, when we were demonstrating the sanction approach to uh, receiving the joint kick, right? Uh, in Ashara Karate, the sanction that we do uh, is just halfway in front. And I said that there is a relation between the assumption stance and there is a fighting stance. And in my approach, at least, um, I don't pull back uh, to the assumption stance. I simply stay wherever I am and I just drop my knee down. Mm -hmm. But I saw that in your approach, if you're in fighting stance, you pull back to have a more effective structure. Is that right? Right. Yeah, because for, for our fighting stance, there's still a space in between, mm. but for some things, it's almost in the same way. Mm. Just one foot apart. The back toe against the front heel. So it's a, it's a very narrow front. So from here, what we do is that we, it's just a movement of the hip from here. Yep. So it's movement of the hip, it put back and it tightens. Yeah. Okay. In Ashara Karate, when it comes to uh, stances like Sanchin stance. We commonly commonly call it traditional karate stance mm. because we don't really use it for uh, combative applications. We tend to only use it for training. training. So when it comes to Sanchin stance, um, those are the discussions that we have. But we don't really talk about which part of the body should you have tension, what okay. is the angle supposed to be like, and things like that. The mentality is as long as it works, it's fine. Mm. So I'm just wondering in the Shitori karate approach, um, what are the discussions around body tension when it comes to sanchin and even angles and how does it translate to the effectiveness of techniques any wow. other So for Shitoru Karate, it's the same. Sanchin Kata and Sanchin Stan is meant as a training stance only. It's not meant to be used in a fighting situation. So mainly the purpose is actually training you how to stand. So traditionally, in Okinawa, they'll tell you this is how you should structure your body when you train. So when you stand in Sanjin, flatten your back. And you can see my, my, my spine is actually straight. So when you do this, your back muscle is very relaxed, right? That's the upper body. And then it comes to the to the hip, we will turn it to face forward. Right? So you have a wall in front of you, it will be uh, parallel to the wall, your hip. And then, of course, this part, you should turn it up so that you are aiming to point your tailbone to the front. I know it's not possible unless you're lying flat on the floor, but that's the feeling. So from here, you just tilt your, so that you feel your tailbone is pointing to the front part. Right? Now going down to the feet, uh, we don't really collapse our knees here, but uh, what you will want to feel is there's a tree trunk in front of you and you're trying to catch the tree trunk using both of your thighs. So you'll be squeezing your both, both of your knees together. And then for your feet, it's the same. Back feet will be facing straight and the front feet will be facing somewhat of a 45 degrees angle this way. And the heel and the back toe is on the same line. And the width is actually a shoulder width like I mentioned earlier. So from this stance, keep your hip in, keep your body straight, and then squeeze your thighs together. And the stance is the same, we do it with two hands in front, this way. And then we'll be practicing pulling in and punching out, pulling in and punching out, usually with a breathing from here. With a deep breathing. That's our sanchin. Okay, and like what you mentioned, it is still very much uh, training and It's a training sanchin, yes. Right. Mm. Okay, that's been interesting. 